me pull up the game. Oh, maybe I should bring up the application on my desktop. But yeah, that guy's been uh, doing YouTube content for like five, almost six years now. But yeah, it's it's interesting. I was watching some of his older videos this week, and just to see the how much quality improvement has happened in the five years. You working out a little bit? A little bit, man. Got keep it keep it going. We're getting ready for Go Fest this weekend. <laughs> it's gotta right. be. I hold that phone. Yeah, I gotta be. Mm, this is my real workout. Oh, I got to work that, that elbow. Oh, man. How hot's it supposed to be here this weekend? So hot. I know, right? Let's It'll be see. so hot. Weather. Thunderstorms and close to 90. Fun. Let me see what I got. Lots. I think I'm just hot this weekend. I don't think I'm going to thunderstorms. Yeah. I don't know how much I'll go out. We'll talk about it on the show. My uh, my ten day forecast has thunderstorms the entire time. <laughs> so I got thunderstorms Saturday, cloudy on Sunday, Monday's crystal clear, and then thunderstorms come back. Yeah, they're starting tomorrow morning. Odd enough, and Atlanta's got thunderstorms all week. It's just gonna stay forever. Um, I mean we're not that far apart, so that doesn't really surprise me. It sounds like it's a pretty big storm system, and. I guess usually they travel, well, I don't know. It depends, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Let me pull up the game. I wonder if anybody's already here in chat. Rock Eddie's here. Some yep. uh, some bot named Charles McFall is here. Hey, it's the best bot. I can actually the best bot. unlock a random sub emote. Yay! Congratulations. I've earned a medal. Hey, I got the GoFest medal. Yep. Doo, doo, doo. I got that earlier, too. I beat you all kind of which ways this week. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> You're so funny. Nicole's so here. Oh, funny. now it looks like I was saying oh no to Nicole when I was really just getting oh, unlocked. No. I was just unlocking the, the, the thing. No skims, <laughs> anything. Hello, we're, skims. we're getting there. Yeah, I'm not sure if you were here when we first started, but Charles I'll was show, sitting I'll there. Show, I'll do it on the show. Working show. out, getting ready for GoFest. Ready. I'll show my work, my GoFest workout. <laughs> oh, Get man. Yep, yep. Let's see, that would be... I hit the wrong one every time. <laughs> yep, yep. Whatever you say, Hanky. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah, it's clear. <laughs> this Nicole out. says she always ruins the party. Yep, that was that one. No. I see Nicole even beat me to it. Look at that. Hello, Shiftworks. How's Canada doing? We've got we've got some international representation all over the place tonight. I don't know where Skims is from, but I know Nicole is international and so is Shiftworks. Beautiful weather. I am a bit jealous, Shiftworks. As uh, I was showing earlier, this is my week next week. Hot and rainy and thunderstorms. Hey, Skims83 is from England. There we go. Sweet. Very good. <laughs> Nicole is very international. Hey, look at that. It's meow. That means I can get a couple of... Uh, that might actually put me to six. Maybe I can fight one of the leaders um, during the stream tonight. Where, which leader do I need to face off against Giovanni? I think I need... Sierra. How do you find out? I think I still need to fight Sierra. You have to look at the um, the special research. Oh, yeah, so I haven't got past number three on that one. Mm. <clears throat> mm. I beat them all. I got Giovanni. Um, yeah, I just haven't got past the research to find that list. 
we'll talk about it later. But what's been really annoying to me is my recent. Dude, did you see the newest game? The newest news in the game uh, about the ultra unlock details. The ultra unlock. Uh, I skimmed it, um, but it was it was announced. What at four thirty ish? Something like something that. Like that. Yeah. But no, I, I haven't. Actually Dragon Week, Enigma Week, and Unova Week. Come on, can I get a shiny right here? Pre-show shiny. Probably. Dude, not. stop! Just stop! I gotta be, why you gotta be that? Why you gotta be like calling all the shinies? Well, someone's gotta get them. Save some for the rest of us, right, Nicole? He needs to save some for the rest of us. By like two pixels. Mm. I think I got ripped off the other day. I think I got ripped off the other day. Did you? I there's no way to find out. But I used up I've been hoarding three remote raid passes for a while, right? Okay. And then I did three raids. And I bought three more and I'm pretty sure I thought I hadn't used them. I got invited to a raid and there was no I said you need a remote raid pass. I'm like, mm. I was at like 700 and then I bought the raid passes and then I extended my either item bag or Pokedex bag, which I forget which one I extended one of them. And now I'm at like 250, I'm at 500 and something or, or under, I was under that. I was at whatever at, at 300 or something. And it's saying I had no raid passes. Like maybe, maybe I used them, swap. but I don't know. Well, remote raids are special. They take I know you can only have the three and you buy them. Yeah, and I only do it with the remote raid. So uh, you know the with the invites, right? With the people, it is possible that I raided six times. But I bought three more, and I'm gonna have to start putting money into this game now. No right. Well, uh, maybe I'll. We'll just, talk about that on the show. Maybe too. I'll just take uh, what I was gonna spend in a Dragon Con and spread it out over the next six months. You already said you're gonna use your. Your Patreon money for it, Joseph. Oh, what do you think the Dragon Con money came from? <laughs> Selling tea? The, depo- the deposit in on the Airbnb that... Still hasn't I need, I need back to check yet. if they updated it. Well, I've just been playing it safe. I'm waiting for them to update it. I'm going to raid. I'm not raid. I'm going to fight me a uh, Team Rocket. I love when they go... I love when they give you that one ending line. It's like, Oh, uh, if you were part of Team Rocket, you'd be the leader. Why do you think I'm dressed this way? <laughs> I know. Just make it so, number one. Yeah, they haven't updated it yet. I expect they'll probably update it next week. The Airbnb extenuating circumstances. Right now, it only goes until August 31st. So, collect. Oh, I'm only up to five. I thought there's only four sub bosses to fight. Oh, you only have five up to five I pieces. Five I wasn't pieces. looking. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm fighting my own little balloon battle. Remote raids are great. They should get you free daily passes in a remote. Uh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I, that'd be okay with me. I would be okay with that. They sh- the free remote the the free pass that you get each day should be like a free special pass that you can use for remote or for local like and, and, ultra pass. sorry i just looked at the the i just looked at the um chat and uh because they maybe they didn't go through and i thought that might be true too except the coins are gone so the coins are gone but i did i i you know i might have just gotten excited because you know how it is you pull up the game and all of a sudden jack and k is there going hey ray okay done like we did last week oh okay done you know and maybe i just didn't keep count uh, cause I, I do hesitate to go there's all my money. Cause you know, a lot of times it's me, you know, messing things up. What's up, Rock Eddie and Coach Kev? Yeah, Thursday's off now. Cool. Bye bye. Oh, I got five out of six as well, Joseph. Dun dun dun. All right. Record. We've got a few minutes. I'm going to go get a, a, a Mountain Dew. I almost said Dr. Pepper. I'm going to go get a Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Are you going to go get yourself a drink? Nah, I, I, I'm lazy. I'm going to stay, stay here. I'm lazy.
actually one of my kids might be out there i might get them to bring me something um and i will i will take a trainer battle if anybody wants to challenge me to a a trainer battle we've got a few minutes we can do that before uh yeah we have about four minutes to go yeah i almost tried to uh or a remote raid i'm good with that i almost tried to have uh to hop on stream during what you call it the raid hour this week but i got busy so Couldn't what, what day is that wednesday's is raid hour uh tuesdays i believe right now, tuesdays was the tuesdays random at, it was six. oddish this month tuesdays okay. at six was not right then, it, then, it's, the, then the, it is wednesdays okay you're right Need I more. should have my app open then cause, um, I could do. Oh, no. I, I feel sorry for you, Skims83. Skims said that uh, Mountain Dew is hard to find in the UK. It's very sad. Yeah. Ooh, Rock Eddie sw swapped his schedule just so he could be at the show. You hear that? Yeah, I, I. Where have you been? I read that earlier. I was getting Mountain Dew. <laughs> we're we're changing the hashtag tonight, my friend. I'm Co putting the gauntlet Coach, down. Coach Kev said that he would battle you, but uh, you're not friends with him. Just give me your friend code. Coach Probably Kev's in our friend Discord. Code. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I bet it is. I'm pretty sure it is. There's the friend. Yep. Should I read it off on air, Coach Kev? Should I should I let a whole bunch of people here have it? I'll find it. Inundated with friend requests from the the newest fraud club member. Fraud. <laughs> Mountain Dew Canada does not have caffeine. Interesting. Yeah, there's some places where you can get non-caffeinated versions of soft drinks. They're uh, they're somewhat popular in Utah because weird Mormons don't drink caffeine. I'm I'm not a weird Mormon. I'm a normal Mormon. <laughs> normal Mormon. All right. You're a Norman I'm, Mormon. I'm. There's nothing normal about me. Yeah, normal's overrated. All right, let's get our Discord opens. Their experiences from last week was the sixteenth. So let me roll on back up to that. Welcome, Koreans twenty three ninety. Just a bot. Twenty three eleven. Just a bot. Is it Koreans or is it Korans? Kor nope, it's Koreans. It's got to be Korean's. Right? All right. So last week was the 16th, so we should have had those on there. So we start with the 17th. All right, you ready to go, Joe? Always. Welcome to Pokemon Go, where we embrace the casual. That's right. I have the filthy casual. I got my Charles McFall. And I have stomped Joseph underscores Ards Petard all week. I didn't know where to go with that, but we found it. Fairly you, friendly. You tripped on the underscore. That's what happened. The, yeah. So, you know what? No more embrace the underscore. Embrace the casual. I will tell you all about that in our experience week. How you doing, Joe? What's going on, man? I'm doing great. I am doing fantastic awesome awesome would you would you care to share your experiences of the week all right so this past week was community day um so got out and took the kids on a walk uh got quite a few ghastly um so that is pretty awesome um let's see how i, don't, I wonder how many shiny i didn't even check how many shinies i ended up with um so it looks like nine total uh, so that's okay. not bad. Right. I ended up in evolving, I think it was three. Let me check. I think I evolved a total of three Gengar this past week, one shiny and two regular. Um, 
So pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, all pretty good stats. So although I wish this 100% one that I've got was evolved this week instead of a, a previous evolution, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> um, so but yeah a lot of fun um i did have an issue though with it being so hot here that after about an hour or so my phone really did not want mm. to work uh so i had i shut it down a couple of times um i even so there i have a loop that i take um uh, it's at a nearby park that's next to a police station and a library and all kinds of stuff. So it's it's a government area. Um, but it's a park I go through. Uh, there's a memorial area. There's a duck pond. And I make the loop and I come back to the parking, uh, parking lot. And so in the parking lot, um, I even tried to hop in and uh, run the air conditioner on my car full blast and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. stick my phone up to it, hoping to cool it down. Um, but it, it, it took a while before it became responsive as it normally would be. Um, that is an issue, at least here where it's a summer, not the other end of the world where it's, yeah. um, yeah, I, there, I just have, there was, I was having a lot of issues with it overheating. Rock Eddie said, same thing. Rock Eddie's from Texas and, uh, he actually swaps between two phones so that they don't overheat. And so, yeah, I, rem- I remember having similar issues at GoFest last year, too, but not quite as bad. It wasn't wasn't quite as hot. Like, uh, it was mid-90s here over the weekend, um, and I think GoFest last year was mid-80s or low-80s, if I'm remembering right. I don't remember. So, it, it wasn't too bad. The, the day before for us, I remember, was like, five or 10 degrees hotter and then they had that rain come through and so our day was actually pretty nice yes so because it had cooled off but um but yeah that is an issue with it overheating uh so uh i didn't have that issue oh well when you stay inside in the air conditioning Mm -hmm. i still (laughs) caught one shiny uh one shiny you know out of the i actually counted i counted i caught like 50 of of uh gengar's evolution but 50 of whatever we're looking at not grimer get off of there and let's see of course i got the shadow punch and the sucker punch with it and let's appraise it because i didn't think about doing that oh no its attack is total trash it's a zero star man its defense <laughs> is like a 12 11 11 hp is 11 attack is like a one not one literally because whatever the lowest number is i mean it's it is not not good at all <laughs> but I, I evolved it because it's the only shiny i got so oh i closed my game didn't mean to do that yeah, um, apparently they have uh yeah. phone cooling fan cases that you can put on yep. your phone i wonder how well those would work considering taking the ambient heat off of your phone in 90 plus degree weather does it really even it's, help yeah it does i'm sorry joe why don't you just go rip the fan out of your uh out of your computer right now see how long it lasts <laughs> oh but you don't get air conditioning in the house it's fine you notice that movement of air does help so i had one the first year i went to uh, pokemon go fest i had a a fan case cooler on my fan cooler case what i don't know how you say it on my uh <laughs> phone but uh but yeah man uh yeah i did a little bit of the community day I didn't go out too much. I think, like I said, caught about 50 of them. Got one shiny, which, you know, I was very happy with. I'm actually going to see. I randomly got a shiny Baneri this week. I just happened to be somewhere. It's like, you know, eh. What, I do a few shiny checks, but I don't know. It's begrudgingly. And I'm like, man, I'll shiny check it. And sure enough, it was shiny, so I've gotten that one. I told you about the shiny Pidgey. That just, <sighs> I've got a shiny Pidgey. It just, it just mocks me. It just mocks me. <laughs> But uh, I know yeah, it's yeah. your favorite. So, so we had a new event starting Friday afternoon, right? Right. And right. bam, I'm knocking out left and right. I'm like, come on, underscore, catch up. Let's go, man. And you're like, oh, well, you know, I'm already, I'm already there. You're like one behind me on one thing, one ahead of me on another thing. It's like, I got all weekend. <laughs> I got, we got, we got, this is my Joe voice, by the way. We got days. 
we got days to get this done. We got days and Mountain Dew. We got and we're within <laughs> within less than twenty four hours. I slammed it down on the table. I'm done, man. What's up with you? Embrace the casual because <laughs> I not only knocked it out, I knocked out the elite. On top of that, Joe, did you even finish the elite? Man, do you even play, Joe? Do you even mon? <laughs> I finished it during community day. <laughs> you are uh, you are an interesting person. It's going to my head, man. Did you know, Joe? Did you know that your item bag is not a trash bag like I thought it was? That stuff actually comes in handy. Those little diamond things actually revive stuff. Who knew? I never knew Pokemon could die because I don't raid. And now, you know, man, I raided what, Jacket K? We did it two, three times together. Um, uh, Nolte, Nolte and I raided two or three times, maybe. Um, and, uh, Roger, I think is his, his name. Tell me, I, I could use his name. Let me look it up here. Perjure um, trip. yeah. Uh, per, yeah. Per, Bridget. It's like, I, I like to say, although I'm reversing the letters, Robert, Robert. And he says, we're, we're good to say his name. So cool. Um, uh, so those are, well, I don't know, but. The the mixture of letters is is uh, initials in the family. Well, okay, I get it. Uh, but uh, yeah, Robert and I, 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 we raided with him last Thursday, and then I think the next day I had two more raids with him. So you know, Nicole, before the show, I was talking about uh, I think I might have I might have spent coins in the game and didn't get what I wanted. Now that I'm listed off all the raids I did, I think I absolutely <laughs> raided more than six times in a week. So yeah, man, this this remote raid is the best. <laughs> it's the best. Thanks, buddy. Um, I got two remote raid passes left right now. Uh, these premium battle passes are are not going to be good. I mean, I don't know if I, I'm going to use them. I do feel bad uh, uh, about Nalty in our in our uh, chat and Discord because he's from Australia. So at like three in the morning, he's like, "Anybody want to raid?" And it's yeah. just crickets because. Uh, most of the people in our chat seem to be from uh mostly from the u.s or yeah 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 so um but definitely okay look if you are listening to the sound of my voice and you were like i would love to remote raid with somebody especially if you're in other parts of the world come on i I know i know we have a patreon i know it's a little bit of a thing but you can embrace the filthy casual and and for a dollar an episode you can get in there get in our discord and we have people throwing out battle challenges all the time or not about raid raid invites rather battle challenges is, is the pvp mm-hmm. uh, but the raid invites and i've gotten one two three four i've gone five for five it looks like so i feel like oh, i think i did use a, a raid pass before that but anyway i feel like i'm missing a raid pass somewhere but i've got five curium and oh you know what because i changed the name of one that i got just so i keep track of who did it and I don't remember what I changed the name to. Crap. I wonder if I doubt it. I haven't heard anything of it, but I wish they would add because um, you can search by hatched and things like that. I wish you could search by raid. I've gone by number. I'm on I'm, I'm, uh, my Pokedex number. It's still only showing five. Maybe so I know I changed the names. Like, oh, you know, on the show. This is me. I get a brilliant idea, right? Oh, I'm going to name them after who I raided with to talk about all the different ones I caught in raids. And then I forgot. Although, not all the, you know what? Not all the raids were curiums. I think one with Jacket K was, uh, was, um, maybe that's what I named it after. Yeah, because you know, you do, yeah, you did a couple of other raids too. But yeah, I did a few raids. So you, so it was cool. It's a lot of fun, man. It is so much fun uh, to do that. So, uh, dude, have you been have you been uh, remote writing with with people? Uh, not nearly as much as you know. I need embrace to. the casual. That is the title for tonight, man. Hashtag embrace the casual. I, Joe the underscore art has dropped <laughs> the underscore, man. I'm gonna have to side with Nicole on this. Uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic. There will be no embracing. No, no. <laughs> when you drive down this weekend for Go Fest, I am. Imb- I'm, we're just locking arms the whole time. Six <laughs> inches. Six inches is all I'm separating from we're you. We're gonna Joe. hold hands and skip. That's and right. Play. And sk- yeah, exactly. I got a bonnet already for you, man. Come on over. <laughs> oh, bonnet. Uh, 
<laughs> so yeah, and before we get into uh, 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 the rest of it, let's hit our Discord. And let's see, U.S. Nate. Oh, okay, uh, that's the other one I forgot. The the Lily, the pe- Petalil, Petalil, mm-hmm, Petalil. Mm-hmm. That one, dude. I mean, it didn't show up a ton, right? But we got the free one for the mission. But taking those pictures, it showed up more than any other Pokemon for the, the so photo bomb. I ha- I haven't checked to see if it's true or not, but it seemed like if you took a picture of a grass type Pokemon. You got Petalil as your as your photo bomb. That's what it seemed okay. like. I could be wrong, but in my scenario, whenever I took a picture of a buddy that was a grass type, I got Petalil as the photo bomb. That would make some sense, sure. So. Um, let's see. I've gotten forty three out of fifty candies, and let me see how many I have. Uh, I've got three currently so i could crack two of them and not quite make it but this is uh, i'm assuming lilligant is the evolution because you know i don't listen when you talk about that stuff for <laughs> trivia uh but usda scout got the evolution going on there uh professor fine hatched a hundo Ven- that's not Ven- that's um Maybe i, I lost get it into the discord and then I it's the red it's the red beetle the venipede venipede is that right well, now I can't scroll through and see where I've saved mine. I was getting a ton of them. We got a hatched uh, Hyundai Venipede, let's call it. Uh, Oddest Shiny. Now, I did a little bit of the Oddest Shiny during the hour this week. Uh, I mean, I did a Shiny check, I guess I guess that's to say, for about five minutes. I'm like, meh. I mean, there I'm just getting a ton of Oddest. It's just getting meh. Shift Works got a bonus Shiny of an Execute. Wow. He's, he, those eggs are golden brown and ready to eat. There they are. Uh, Nolte got a hound hour. I always say hound hour. It's hound or I don't know. Uh, but it's a zero IV. It's a zero IV. Are you? Are you? In, you're just, I'm trying you're to. I'm trying, trying to figure out where okay. you're at. Uh, I'm on the 21st. No, I'm on the yesterday. Yeah, yeah. We didn't get a whole lot over the weekend, so July 22nd is where I'm at. Okay, I think uh, you skipped a whole bunch, but all right. No. Oh no! It did reset me. It wasn't supposed to jump down there. I had it pushed up to the <laughs> dude. No, I did. I scrolled up and I had it pushed out. I don't know why it jumped down to there. So why don't you pick up from the seventeenth is where we're starting. All right. So Professor Pine with a shiny Ponita hatch, Nulty with a shiny Shelter and a shiny Aerodactyl, uh, Barry showing off his first Petalil, uh, Coach Kev and Barry showing Fry off. Club member. Yeah. <laughs> did you see that? Did you see that I added a, 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 fraud, no. a fraud club chat room? In, I know, I did Discord? not. I see it. I see it. I see that he put it in his name. I love it. Fraud club member. Yep. Yeah, I added, I added a fraud club chat room in Discord that uh, only admins and fraud club members can see in there. So, yeah. Um, Nulty with a shiny Krabby and a shiny Clan Pearl and a 100%... I don't think it's sh- with Gengar. It's like, is that really a shiny Gengar? That's not a shiny Gengar. It's just no, 100%. I don't. I, I think it's, yeah. Uh, but ended up with 18 shinies from Community Day and 100% Bell Sprout and a, oh, Terry showing off a Timber. I like Timber. I need to, man, I wish I could get more Timber candy. Um, But yeah. Yeah. Timber's timber's tough to come by. Tough to come by. Uh Coach Kev showing off uh his different Gengars from the the week. So uh from the weekend. A hundred percent and a uh zero thirteen thirteen uh ready for PvP because it's fourteen ninety eight, so that'll be nice. Um Skims, I agree. I need to remote remote raid more for some timber candy. Wait, wait. How do you? Oh, because of Timber raids. Yeah, yeah. Timber shows yeah. up in one. You know what? Raids. Skims. Are we? Are we friends on the game? Skims. We need to be friends on the game. It's true. Yeah, you know, I will Timber raid all day. That's the next embrace to casual, right? When I get more Timber <laughs> candy than Joe. Does. Yeah, that, yeah. Who's gonna Who's gonna get to Conklador first? You or me? Uh, Nulty with a shiny Shadow Ekans. Um, 
Terry with a uh, rank one for Ultra League. So that's a z- uh, for a Gengar, a zero fifteen fourteen Gengar. Very nice, and a shiny Dunsparce Nulty with a shiny Oddish. U.S. Nate Scout hitting that level thirty eight and pulling in what is that seven seven shiny Gengar. Very nice. Ooh, shiny Hippopotus, which uh, just kind of looks like they dulled his colors, but still. Yeah. Congratulations, U.S. Nate Scout, on that one. Um, Popeye got all three skill challenges completed. He's showing it off with the check marks. So got the elite skill, the elite challenges done for all of the GoFest challenges. Very nice. Uh, some. Somebody got a shiny Baneri. I can't quite read that name there. Oh, uh, uh, um, no. Rock got a pod, perhaps. <laughs> uh, U.S. Nate Scout showing off Lily Gant. And, yeah, that's a Venipede. I'm down to where you were now. The 100% Venipede from Professor Pine. And Shiftworks with a shiny Oddish says it's the first time they've got a, a uh, Spotlight Hour shiny. Um, speaking of experiences of the week somebody said in chat that they got one a oh, shiny jacket k got a, a shiny murkrow on the way home from work today so that's oh, nice. pretty awesome um nice and then you talked about those already um nulti with a uh, perfect pvp ip growlith so a zero fifteen fifteen. that's pretty awesome there uh coach kev I I very much appreciate this experience of the week instead of having us read them all yeah, scrolling through. Oh, uh, wow. It gives a, a too long didn't read version um, <laughs> showing off their shinies and hundros from the last uh, week. So ended up with, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shinies and three hundred percent pretty awesome pretty awesome and coach kev says that's how he's gonna do it from now on i that is awesome uh way to go flex on us coach Kev. we appreciate you man i haven't seen age zero to five is that the number of days on the on the search there age zero dash five we'll have to wait to see what he says in chat i haven't actually seen people use that before but that's pretty awesome I got to go with Coach Kev so we can raid or something, man. Doug and, Trio, the and, Hanson shiny Doug Trio, man. And, yeah, apparently that age zero to five actually um, helps with uh, with saying how old, how many days old. That's pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. Um, and then, so get out of there. Terry with a 100% pincer. Shift works with a shiny shadow coughing. Nulti with a shiny Aerodactyl, and Nicole coming in here just before the show with a shiny Krabby. Very, very nice. Very good. All good stuff. Now, we got a whole lot of headlines. We got a big weekend coming up. We're going to talk about the weather and everything else related to that. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll jump back in and uh, hit those headlines and talk about Go Fest here in just a minute. All right, Nicole, if you can run the commercial. I'm a mod, but it won't let me do it, apparently. Uh, and Coach Kev, you haven't you haven't accepted my friendship request yet. All right, let's see. Pop you up. Over. All right. <laughs> Nicole says here. you're supposed to be in mod view. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. And then Skims, uh, Skims was trying to do um, exclamation mark Discord, which is what a lot of uh, streamers will do to have their Discord listed there. So our official show Discord, um, before we get back into yeah. it officially, our official show Discord is locked behind Patreon, but I did link in there a link to Run Jump Stomp's Nerd Nest. 
Um, we have a Pokemon Go podcast uh, chat room within the Nerd Nest. So uh, Skims83, if you wanted to hop in there, feel free. Uh, and that's that tiny CC link. And yeah, we'll absolutely interact with you there. And, and yeah, cool. <clears throat> and there's a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot of other really cool people in that uh, chat there. So that will work. All right, cool. Yeah, you post pics. You know, we'll, we'll definitely read your experience of the week from there. You know, definitely no exclusion there. All right, here we go. But you have to embrace the casual. <laughs> Go the casual. Oh, God, I got you spinning your Mountain Dew, man. I don't, oh, no. I don't need Mountain Dew coming out my nose. I don't need it. <laughs> oh, that no, is not man. the kind of burn I need to be feeling in my life oh, right now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dude, I want this. I, I really want to get one of these Archeops. That looks so cool. Uh, that's El Barto. Yeah. Yeah, Archeop is, is pretty awesome. And I can't remember how they handled his uh, uh, effect. I don't. I think they just didn't deal with it, to be honest. Um, because Archeops in the main series games, when it gets low in health, its stats drop significantly. It, it has a, I think it's called Defeatist, is what its, its ability is. But once it goes below 50% health, like, its attack power just dies oh well still looks cool it does know. it looks pretty awesome now i know everybody wants to talk about pokemon go fest and i gotta show you, you gotta get ready for it right you gotta you gotta get your 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 workout on so i've got on the video here i've got these big let's call them 20 pound weights but they're not really 20 <laughs> you know i was like i showed joe here's my workout man i'm just oh i'm sitting there tapping the screen trying to catch things i'm spinning i'm spinning man that 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 work your arms. That don't that work you. But you gotta get man ten to eight, ten a.m. to eight p.m. local time. Right? You gotta get up first thing in the morning, Saturday morning, Joe. It could be the very best. No one ever was. Uh, so Saturday, uh, I do have something I need to do in the mid morning. Um, but after that, my plan is to uh, go for a walk while my wife takes the kids home for a nap. Uh, well, the baby home for a nap. The other boys. Uh, I think they'll probably be on their tablet for a little bit, but anyway, um, so while they're doing that, I'll be going out to a park and, um, for a couple uh, of hours, two, three hours and walking and doing my go fest there. Um, and then I haven't decided what I'm going to do for Sunday, but that's what I'm planning on doing for Mon or for Saturday. I almost said Monday for Saturday. Right. Uh, okay. <clears throat> got you, Kearns. I got you in the game. I'm getting all kind of friends today. I'm excited now. See, it took, what, four years, Joe? Four years for them to go, all right, fine. We'll give in to the filthy casual. And look at this. I'm playing. I play, I'm going to start putting money into this thing so I can remote Ray with my friends. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go out a lot. I'm going to see how much I can get done at home. I see what happens there. Um, uh, my family's leaving me Saturday to go do go see a, a grandparent or something, and uh, they'll be gone for a couple of hours. So I definitely need to get some work done. I mean, it's a good time for me to really hammer down and finish up my website and polish off some media and get some stuff posted and, and record some gameplay and those kind of things. But I definitely I, I'm gonna play. And Nicole says she'll be playing 100 percent from the home. Um, I am thinking about there's this part that uh i went to recently because it's on the way to my kids soccer thing we had this this little church thing they went to uh this week and um it reminded me of Sarah. it's not that far it's about 10 15 minutes from here and you can drive it right it's a big huge park one part of it has a playground there's a ball field there's basketball courts and a big circular driveway and the pokestops line that drive and there's two gyms in it and so I was thinking I might just go drive that circle a few times to see, but it's going to be going to be like almost a hundred degrees, and it might be thunderstorming here. I know you got <laughs> thunderstorms coming up. So what are you thinking? Are you what, are you going to sit more time at home than out? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
And especially because it, it's it is supposed to be about ninety degrees and thunderstorms, so definitely more in than out. Um, but yeah, and just pop, uh, pop the incense and and go from there. Sounds good, man. I don't know if I have these headlines in order. So what do you want to tackle first? The virtual lounge, uh, TikTok, uh, GoFest, Mega Threads. What do you want to jump on? Um, let's just uh, let's start with the summer research keeps disappearing because that has been super annoying and it's short. We can cover it real quick. Sure, absolutely. I'm just saying. So I just I'm underscore just it. So when I click on the research button and I go over to the today tab, every every time it happened multiple multiple times. The special event just disappeared. I would have to lo- close the game, bring it back up to get it back. But it was super annoying having that disappear, reappear, and disappear, reappear. Yep, that happened once or twice, sure. That's all. It was just super annoying. And I hope they yeah. fix it soon. Because you do one, you do what I found it happened when I do one thing, swap over to field and claim something on field, swap over to possible special, and. Then I'd go back to today, right, the summer event, and it, it'd be showing what's on the screen. Well, on the Silk Road link here on Reddit uh, that we're we're pulling from, and yeah, it was it was. Um, I don't know. It's annoying. It's annoying. Yeah, absolutely. Very annoying. Very, now, Joe, what is? Annoying. What was your your storage maxed out at before? <laughs> uh, so I don't I don't think either of my storage is maxed out. Maybe my item. No, my item storage 2, is five hundred. My item storage is sitting at uh, 2750 and my Pokemon storage is sitting at 2500 All right, so you did almost max it out. That was The 2500 was the max out for a minute, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't – yeah. Uh, yeah. It definitely isn't oh, anymore. I don't think – I don't think – stop, man. You know I do pay attention to some I, – I pay attention to you, not the facts that you spew out during the random period. <laughs> I pay attention to you and your gameplay. So uh, are you going to need this, this 3,500? Dude, I just upped my collection. Uh, I, I need my, to just my go storage. through and trim a whole bunch of stuff, to be honest. Yeah, you do. So I, just upgraded, I just upgraded my storage because, dang, man, with these raids, we're using stuff. <laughs> I'm like using posts. I'm, I'm only half kidding about did you know because I didn't know, but I trashed most of it. But now I'm like, I'll give you some more of those basic evol- or not evolves, uh, um, revives and give me some regular hyper potions. So I'll use those. I'm I'm eating up my maxes. My maxes used to sit around 100 each. Now they're in the 30s. So let's uh let's yeah. get more stuff right. But as you've been hinting at, the Pokemon storage is now capped at 3,500. 30. That's a lot. Now is that Pokemon? Pokemon storage, not item storage. Uh, it's definitely Pokemon. No. It just says storage. I, item bag is still sitting at 3,000. Okay, so it is Pokemon storage, yes. and then the item bag is at three grand. It kind gotcha. of, uh, I'm not going to lie. It kind of messes with, I, like, I'm not crazy OCD, but the, it does kind of irk me that they're not the same. Not being specific <laughs> about it. Like, I, mine aren't the same, so I don't know why it irks me. I don't have them, either of them maxed out, and they're not the same, but it, it kind of, it, it kind of see rock Eddy says he was struggling at around 2800 i don't understand i i i do not understand you guys my pokey bag has been sitting at 500 forever i just just candy Char- them up charles likes his candy i do like the candies man and my you know it's like i told nicole last <laughs> he'll, night he'll get in the van for the candy oh uh, no and he's got good wi-fi too <laughs> but it is like i told nicole last night i'm breaking the panel you're not using it. You don't need it. Stop letting it clutter your house up. Why do you need 2,800 Pokemon? You ain't using them. Kill them. Kill them all. <laughs> like they're never got, ever gotta kill them all. Uh, oh, and my, my item storage, now, it's crazy how fast that fills up because of all the little things. 1,100. So I, I took it from 1,050, I guess, to 1,100. Is it 100 or is it 50 in the jump up? uh when each time you buy it it's a 50 jump. so i bought a 50 so i went from 1050 to 1100 because i found before you know i would throw out 
all kinds of stuff that broke people's heart. You know, but Pokeballs, Pokeballs are are more rampant now with all the rate not not just raids, not the raids, but uh the Team Rocket balloons, right? And the gifts. We just had a big gifting event and those dude, I I have a hard time. I still have to throw away Pokeballs. So I can't get them below three hundred. It's like you're filling up my bag. And I'm not using my gotcha that much. I don't need you. See, before uh community day, I was sitting at a thousand Pokeballs. I don't but but you won't throw. You legit will not throw a thousand regular Pokeballs this weekend throughout the two day event. Uh we'll see. I'm gonna recondo your Poke stash, man. I'm gonna come in there and say, Does this Pokeball give you bliss? No, get rid of it, man. Get rid of it. See, I'm making a ton of space right now just by killing Pikachus with hats. Oh, I ha- yeah, I, no, they now, go. now you can mass select them. I hadn't actually gone through and mass selected them. And I should pro- right. I should probably be checking the IVs on some of these, but I honestly yeah. don't care. Let's see. That's unlocked details. That's the bigger thread. Let's let's say we'll save the fast for the end here. Uh this is where on the official Twitter account. And oh, this kind of reminded me. Because they're talking about friend interacting and gifting. Do you know how disappointed I was that not one single sticker made my day? <laughs> not one. Because I don't care that it's in there. I wanted to do something. Tutu's like, here's a free revive because you got a sticker. And that was such that was such a little misleading rhetoric. Send those stickers because it might make a friend's day. Nah, I didn't do nothing Did for anybody. Nothing. Yeah. Did nothing. Um, all right, but from their thread for the GoFest, creators, re- we recommend saving your gift interaction during GoFest Day 1 until the Friendship Habitat comes to you as it will feature a global challenge to send gifts to friends. The goal is met, which it will be. Gifts <laughs> open in the rest of the Habitat's time may contain an unexpected item. Now, that's the thing. When that goal gets hit, then opening gifts will change. So... So the question is, Joe, and if this isn't another topic, we, we could hold it. But my question is, do we send gifts but not open them? I don't think so. I think- oh, yeah, no, 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 it does. It says send gifts to friends. So you send them, yeah. and then you wait, and then once we hit that goal, then you open them, right? I don't know. I better get some Christmas presents. I'm almost saying. Christmas. Present. I want a Santa chew to bring me something. Um uh, all right. The last one that is not that was basic that was partially a a fest thing, but the rest of these are fest stuff, except for we got two more. Go battle league. I did see this announced today. I'm like, hey, yeah, I I think I did one battle in this season uh at all. Uh but go battle league season three begins Monday, July twenty seventh. Any changes here, Joe? Anything that we need to to know about? Mm. not really other than the fact that it's going to be ending and or the season two is nearing its end uh so if you want to get those rewards make sure you battle a whole bunch um well and the big reward well not the big but a big reward is you can get an elite fast tm instead of an elite charge tm if you reach rank seven or higher which is nice yeah um and they i do like that they specified if you scroll down a little bit um it says what we can expect to stay the same uh the walking requirement is not coming back for season three Uh, i'm sure it'll be back eventually they've said it'll be back eventually but not for season three um friendship level requirement for battling remotely will remain at good friends throughout season three hmm interesting so the remain at good friends it's, it actually specifically mentions throughout season three that verbiage is not i want i i am hoping that i'm i'm not reading too much into it uh but i i wonder if because that's the only one that says throughout season three it, the one up above it the with the rock walking requirement not being there it does not say throughout season three yeah all right, so going back to our I ho- chat. I just, hope it doesn't, I just hope it doesn't come out yet. Um, yeah. yeah. And uh. then apparently it says 
remember you can scan another trainer's QR code to battle them no matter where they are. So I wonder if we could... So if you take a could, screenshot? Well, but I wonder if we could, on air, put our QR code up and right. somebody could scan it to fight us, who is not well, our friend. We should do it. Our, we sh Well, I was going to say, we, yeah, because we're friends. I was going to say we could try it with each other, but we should do it with each other so we don't... So we can bail out on it and not have somebody, you know, hate us for it. Um, I don't know. Uh, but I'm wondering, how do you do that? Like, uh, <laughs> like I can screenshot my QR code for battle, email it to, even though Nicole and I are friends, she's the first name that pops up in my head when I was thinking, not here. You know, so I could email or text it to Nicole and she could scan. How, wait, how? Do you not know how to scan for the QR code? That's I what, do, but you have to put it over with your camera. So you'd have to actually, you can't just upload the QR code. You'd have to pull it up on another device and scan it with your game phone, right? Yes. So you you would put it up to battle. Where's the... Yeah, Curran's is saying second phone needed. Okay, so that you you still have to be next to each other then? Well, not necessarily. Cause like, okay, so I could I could say, um, honestly, why why would you battling somebody? Why would you go to all that trouble to battle somebody who doesn't know you? I guess if you're just a big battler, you could post it in a Reddit group. So we could go to the nerd nest, things. right? We could go to the nerd nest where the on Discord where the Pokemon go open chat room is and we could throw up our battle code there well like theoretically i've got my battle somebody code could just pull right it up now. on a yeah someone could theoretically scan it live on air and try to fight me possibly are you telling people to come at you bro come at me bro and so, I'll, I'll use um, i'll use my squirt gun team against you it'll be great for those that uh, don't know, my squirt gun team are all fully evolved under 100 CP Pokemon that I caught in the wild. Um, all water types. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, there's. Yeah. So new for season three, um, they are in introducing some new cups. So um, we mentioned before the premier cup, they're introducing a quote unquote flying cup where only flying type Pokemon will be allowed. Um which is maybe a good reason that uh, Flying Pikachu is not allowed there, but still. Ultra League, though, Flying Pikachu would just be a gimmick. Um, anyway, but yeah, so more information will come for that. Uh, your guaranteed reward encounters will be a bit different. So at rank 1, it'll be a Pidgeot. Uh, at rank 4, it'll be a Galarian Zigzagoon which I hatched one of those uh, this past week. Did you see me showing him off earlier in on the stream? He's cool looking. I like him. Yeah. I was going to scan your battle code, but, you know, you took it down. Oh, you're too slow. Um, Galarian Farfetch'd will be rank 7, Rufflet at rank 8, Scraggy at rank 9, Pikachu Libre at rank 10, and if you get to rank 10, you will earn a brand new avatar pose because we know we love those poses, especially since they tend to uh, cause glitches based on what you're wearing. But we love them oh so much. Uh, I mean, some people I'm sure do. Uh, you can definitely tell by the timber of my voice that I really don't care one way or the other for a pose. But, um, and then for premium rewards track... So if you use the premium ticket to get premium rewards, you will now earn uh, rare candies after your fourth win, and the number of rare candies is reduced from eight to six because before the rare candies had been the fifth win. Uh, trainers who finish at rank seven or higher, like you said, will get the Elite Charge yep. TM. Now, of course, with the, the Flight League coming in, they have – updated all or a bunch of different powers drill peck brave bird infestation hex powder snow blizzard flash cannon focus blast and moon blast are, are different you know flying type bug type goes you know they're different types right but uh they've either increased which seems like mostly they've increased the damage um 
and uh, but like Moonblast, they've decreased the chance of lowering your opponent's attack. Uh, and then uh, for gem raids and battles, Drill Peck, Brave Bird, and Hex have uh, they deal more damage on the first two and get synergy more quickly on the Hex. So uh, they, they've added a few things. They, they are changing it up, and that's I mean, Joe, that's that's why I'm, I'm finally after four years going. Oh, I dig this game. Now I was talking about this last night. How it's a commitment, man. If I find a game that's decent, I know it's going to be fun. There's an audience to find. I will make a show about it and just keep playing it. But I've made no bones about it. Most of the stuff in the game I haven't cared about until recently. They made it where it's not that I could just raid from home, right? Which is a thing for me. I'm not going to lie. But it's the fact that I can finally play with Joe in Tennessee. Jacket K and Jacket Land. I don't, I don't know where Jacket, Jacket K is. Jacket Land. Uh, but Nolte <laughs> in Australia. You know, I'm I'm playing with Nolte in Australia, live. We're battling this thing and catching them. You know that that is what Pokemon is about to me, and that that is really really cool. So doing all this cool stuff for the battle leagues, I'm still not super intrigued, but I get it. You're breaking it up. It's like okay, it's not just come smash have the strongest team. There's this league we have to have the strongest flight team. You know, Joe. At some point, they're going to have a squirt gun league, and you're going to rule them all. Well, and what's going to dominate in the in the the flying league is going to be um, flying ice types and flying electric types. So, like Zapdos and Articuno. Yeah, I'd like to get a Galarian. I'd like any Galarian besides the dirty meows. Um, and I can't remember who was saying it. Might have been Nulti, but was saying uh, they're excited for remote raids specifically for when Niantic finally brings back the Lake Trio. Uh, yeah. If you remember, See? Those, yeah. Raids, those raids were region exclusives. And so I, I hope they don't lock people out of inviting them just to keep them ra- uh, region exclusives. I hope that they do allow people to, basically it's a benefit. Hey, I've got people around the world that I'm friends with and it would be a benefit to them. Oh, I can get the Lake Trio because I have friends all around the world. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I I would love to be able to do that. Like the Timber. I mean, any of them. And when I'm out and about, which is not often, I look around to see if a raid's going to start so I can invite some people to come raid. One, I have 24 freaking premium raid passes to burn, and I still have a free free one that I got probably a year ago. Your free regular raid pass. I got like, you know how you get one each day or whatever. It's been forever. I got one for whatever reason. But uh, before we get on to the Fest news, and I've got a, I've got a thing I'm going to ask you for Fest for everybody, but we'll get to that. Pokemon Go June, which we already know is past July, but August, September, October, and November Community Day voting list at potential future Community Day shiny Pokemon. What do we have here, Joe? Dun, dun, dun. All right, so this is an article put out by Future Game Releases, and this is speculative. This isn't confirmed. Speculative. Uh, so during the voting that we did, um, we had we got Weedle and Ghastly, but Sandshrew and Squirtle we didn't get. Those were two of the potential votes. The other voting that we did um, was Caterpie, Charmander, Grimer, and Porygon as potential community days um and i'm trying to remember the pokemon go oh wait hold on hold on according to text revealed by the pokeminers this is what it is sorry i thought they were speculating based on previous voting um so the voting list they're guessing for August and September, it will be Caterpie, Charmander, Grimer, and Porygon that we could vote on, which is weird because Charmander, not- Charmander, I need that that coal black Charmander man or um, Charizard. You you don't have one. Charmander's been a community day before. You're not going to get me off of Embrace the Casual, man. I stomped the underscores to the ground this week. No, I don't have one. But I could I could use one. I could use one, Joe. All right. Get you some. Uh, but if it came to that, that you would vote for Charmander then? 
theoretically you can yeah. choose two. That one and then Porygon would be my second one. Okay. Okay. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm down with that. That works because, I mean, Caterpie's uh, shiny is already in the game, as is Grimer's. So I, I'd be down for that. And as far as PvP, Charizard would probably be the best for PvP out of the, those selections. So, all right. All right. That's fine. Uh, so then for October and November, the the list suggested by the Code Dive will be Bulbasaur, Ex- oh, yeah. Execute, Magikarp, and Starly. Yeah. I, God, as much as I hate it, I have to go with Magikarp because I still do not have my <laughs> Valor Gyarados. The red you know, Gyarados. As much as I have freaking walked that stupid... Every time a Magikarp shows up, I will catch it. Every single time. I got so much Magikarp candy, I'm choking on it. And I cannot get a <laughs> shiny that, to save my life. And that's after walking it for like a year. A year, man. <laughs> I have so much Magikarp candy. It's not even funny. But Starly mm-hmm. would be my my one. And here's the thing I didn't realize the other day. I was looking through. I was like, okay, who's going to be my buddy now? I've, I've gotten whoever I was walking with, the candy I needed. And, I, uh, and, and so I'm like, okay, I've evolved them. Who do I need to work on? I'm like, wait, what's this thing next to Starly and whatever the Starachu or whatever the evolution is? I'm like, holy crap, there's a third evolution. Oh, man, I don't have any Starlies. I do now. I mean, I, I caught one recently, but I was like, crap. Yet again, I've gotten rid of somebody that, that had an evolution that I missed. I got too fast on myself. So I would like to Starly for the, the second pick for that October, November personally. So I can get the shiny and I can get all the candies I need to get that third evolution. You know what the problem is, though, right? Why you don't have Magikarp, the shiny Magikarp? You know when I got my first shiny Magikarp? How many did you get? I have four. Uh, So when I got my first one, uh, it's when um, Elbarto was in town. Yeah, Elbarto didn't come visit me. He didn't like me that much. Yeah, he he came to Chattanooga, and we... we, uh, Spent a See, couple Alberto of days. was social distancing before it was cool, man. <laughs> we saw him at, at the Pokemon Go Fest last year, and he's like, she's like, hey, Alberto, he's like six feet, man, just six feet. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I've never gotten, I've never gotten the uh, patron saint of Magikarp to to deem me worthy. So <laughs> Alberto, the patron saint of Magikarp. <laughs> that's right, man. I need, I need your, I need your blessing. I need your blessing, man. If if we make a graphic of him. Do some kind of blessing as a patron say or whatever patron saints look like. I will keep it as my phone background all weekend so I can grab me a golden magic card. <laughs> um, so uh, there's that. Um, what is what are your picks? What are your picks for so for, for October and November? Um, I wouldn't mind having the the Gyarados. Um, and then probably the Star Lead just because we don't have that shiny. Wait, do we have that shiny? I'm no getting to the point where I'm like. I kind of think we actually do have that shiny. Chat, do is the Starly shiny in in game yet? Let's let's find out. This is see, this is one of the benefits of being live, is we can ask the chat. Rocketty's here, he knows. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure Rocketty knows. No, we have P Dove. That's what I'm thinking of. Thank you, Nicole. So Starly for the new shiny, and I would I I'd be fine with Magikarp. I don't need any more Bulbasaur. So, and then, yeah, that's it. That's the speculation there. And Jack and Kay was saying something about, did we have a Magic Art Community Day already? I think they called it Water Festival. Uh, Curran says, I think that's Whelmer. And um, maybe I'm thinking of the Chinese New Year event, where the one where Shiny geared us. Was, I still didn't get one. I still didn't get one. I don't know. So, well, there is like all it. that. I don't like it. I hate that. I, I I hate love magic cards. I just need that golden freaking fish, <laughs> that golden button, and I'm good to go. Let's you know, we just need to get you like a yellow uh, resin, and you could you could just three D print a magic card for you. I like it. <laughs> I think I have yellow resin. I don't have the machine for the resin. Not resin. I've got the uh, the other one. Um, oh, the yellow three uh, D printing. Yeah, the little cable spool thing. I forget what it's called right in a second. Yeah, it is. It's uh, filament. Filament. I've got the y'all. I think I got y'all filament, but we're still waiting on them to to ship us 
the replacement uh, 3D printer. But you know what else is yellow, Joe? A Pikachu hat. And I know <laughs> how upset you were that you were not going to get your Pikachu hat. However, TikTok has got your back, man. So very, very, very upset that I wasn't going to get it. And yeah, you're right. TikTok does have my back. Just like I'm, I'm surprised it's TikTok and not like a Snapchat filter, but it's a TikTok filter. But that's fine. Whatever. Well, TikTok is the big competitor right it's, now. It's the new thing. Um, <laughs> it's been around for a while. So, yes. Uh, so you can uh, go. The TikTok Pokemon Go has their own thing there. You can join Pokemon Go Fest celebration on TikTok. Um, so you can get your. You, if you don't want to print off your own, it looks like. Um, there is you can join the virtual lounge in TikTok, um, and don't forget to use hashtag Pokemon Go Fest 2020 when posting your favorite social media channels. I don't know that the virtual lounge is in TikTok, right? No, maybe. I see. I don't know where this virtual lounge Hold is. You said, You've "Oh, we're have a stuff. virtual lounge. We're gonna talk about some stuff." There's I know you the, got it coming up. There's but the virtual it's... lounge. Let, let's let's fix that information if we've got it wrong. Um, but yes, you can do the. The filter, the virtual hat with TikTok. Um, and they do have stuff about the virtual team lounge hangout. And so I, I could I could very much What's be this, wrong. It's just the way it's phrased. Is yes. It's like in TikTok, you have this hat. Then there's a whole other thing that says, we can't wait to see your hashtag Pokemon video. And that's why I think TikTok over Snapchat. And Snapchat goes away, so you have to submit somewhere else. To get that Snapchat filter seen by Pokemon Go, whereas on TikTok, you just hashtag it; it just lives as a video on your TikTok account. Or yeah, so um, there is that. But then there's another paragraph, still looking for more celebration, and then it talks about the virtual lounge. I don't know where this virtual lounge is. Yeah, the lounge virtual is. lounge has its own website, and but I don't know if it's gonna. Let's see. So the website is. PokemonGoLive.com slash events slash virtual hyphen team hyphen lounge um, is apparently the the website for the virtual lounge. You go in there <laughs> and you can choose your team. Um, oh my God. And then it's it's got a schedule here. So it, it I think it might just... <laughs> You're trying I did the it TikTok out. Video, I'm trying it out. I got a, 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 a blast. Oh, me. That's the music that automatically starts playing when you do that. Just so everybody knows. So that's on TikTok. I tried out the Pikachu hat. You had to be here on Twitch to see it. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Okay. So, 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 the, so you, don't, you don't need any more Pikachus with hats because now you have a I rock, out of the pod <laughs> rock out of podcasting Whoa. with. A Pikachu hat. Yeah. So uh, it, uh, Jackie K is saying that they didn't, uh, it looks like they didn't officially tell us where the, the lounge is going to be. So I was mistaken on that. And I'm looking on it here and it doesn't seem to indicate other than this website. It says that the, you can head over to the virtual team lounge, but right now all it has on that website mm -hmm. is you choose your team, and all that does right now is switch the background color. Colors, yeah. And it shows a schedule. Yes. Um, so so it the has... global kickoff is at 5 p.m. on the 24th. Yeah, the night before. So that's interesting. But it, it looks like they're going to have... It, Dude, they're, I'm they're guessing start, it's a, They're a starting 24-hour content. Yeah, they're starting 24-hour content. There. Yeah, and they they've got some of the YouTubers that are gonna show up. Like I see, Zoe Two Dots has a a section there for about thirteen minutes, um, and I'm sure other they've got other people coming in there too. Um, but so yeah. this whole virtual lounge isn't real unless they trigger something. It, else. it looks like the quote unquote virtual lounge is just their live stream. And you can change yeah. the background color based on clicking a team. I when they said virtual lounge, I was expecting more, but that's what, I want to know who's going to print, like. print out these life size foldables of Spark, Blanche, and Candela, or Professor Willow. Uh, apparently, Jacket Case says that uh, GoCast 
Uh, and Lord Up might actually have slots in the the virtual lounge. Mm, it's him on the thing. I That'd wonder, be great if they did. Congratulations to them. I wonder if if the schedule changes based on you, which one you click. It doesn't look like it. But it looks like it's the same schedule. Uh, p- uh, according to Jacket K, they're hosting the trivia events. So there's there's a whole lot of events to look through here, and so it's very much it's very possible that we are missing uh, them. Well, I went through. I'm not maybe the. the the thing might not be fully updated. It might be continue on, continue on. Cause I don't. I saw stuff about trivia events, but there's nothing on this schedule about trivia events. Yeah. So yeah, we still don't know is, is the answer. Uh, I had Squid as a Beast reach out to me uh, this week and ask me about okay, he got his ticket, and um, you know, is it going to be automatic? And I said I'm not entirely sure, but if it's like the real world one, we didn't have to do anything last year. And literally just when the time hit, it triggered, all of a sudden, brrr, you saw everything. And I'm thinking, Joe, that that's going to be, you have to click on the ticket in your item box, maybe, I think I read? No. Well, I mean, we might have to do that here. I, I haven't read that. But like you said, when we when we got close enough to the geographical location uh-huh. last year, it just, bloop. Like, well, I, thought, well, I saw That's I right. We had to click on the news. We had to click on one stop and and activate uh, it. no did we was that, that or was, was that the, that the year was before the, maybe that was, I the, think year that was year before because the first year where there were all these qr codes and it was just a mess i think you had to yeah a stop that was the year work. before because i was yeah half asleep from from staying up all night at the airport the night before yeah with that uh, funness let me see if i can find it in the news because it's in the news blip, I thought in game, where maybe it wasn't, but where it said you'll get a medal a few days before, which we did. We got our medal today, uh, right as of this recording. Is on Thursday we got the medal. Uh, maybe it's learning about the virtual. Yeah, I'm surprised. I don't know, there was something I'm surprised about we it. don't have more about this, considering it starts tomorrow evening. This kickoff, like, because we're recording oh, this the on the 23rd. Tomorrow. Yeah, this starts Friday evening at 5 p.m. Right, uh, and this is this would be Pacific time because they're based out of San Francisco, right? San Francisco. Uh, they're based out of California. They're based out of California. I don't know if it'll be Pacific time or not. Five PM. Pacific. It probably is, but I don't know. I'm sure it says somewhere. Do do do. All times are listed in Pacific time. Okay, you'll receive a medal, 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 commemorating the event. When you open the app during day one, you'll receive access to the two-day Pokemon Go Fest 2020 experience including the first special research line. Make sure to open the app during day two to receive the second special research line. So mm. It just sounds like you should open the app. You don't have to do anything special. Yep. Well, you have your ticket, so we're good. We're good there. You've got a con. Oh, Joe, I'm supposed ticket. to be at a con this weekend, but, you know, this will be all right. I need <laughs> I need some more remote rays to, to cheer me up, but we'll get there. Um, get to level 10. If you're currently below level 10, make sure to get to level 10 prior to the event in order to maximize your experience. That's where all the habitats, they rotate each hour. We know about the printed home kit. We've talked about the virtual team lounge. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dress up. Dress up with Pokemon Go Fest 2020 avatar items. Pick them up in the shop. They should be in the shop right now, Joe. I don't want to shop for items. It better be free. I pay for my ticket. I want my free shirt. Of course they're not free. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Contraire, mon frere, it is. I've got a red... Pokemon Go Fest. Oh, shirt that's right. right. The the shirt usually is free. You're not wrong. I would wear that in real life all day. Uh, I th- I would I like think that I design. I saw a picture of Zoe Two Dots actually with that shirt. I th- you can buy that shirt. There's an Isle of Armor uniform you can from get the Pokemon Go yeah. Fest website, or they they've got a merch. I might have to do that because I I. I like subtle designs, and this design really speaks to me. Yeah, I, I dig it. I can't. I can't remember. They they put the the merch link in one of the bajillion different announcements they did, but yeah, you could order an um, that shirt. Yeah, no pants are free. I don't even think. I I don't even know if there's pants to go with this thing. Pants are overrated. Absolutely. Just for I saw a. Uh, 
I mean, it's a little off topic, but I saw a, a post on Facebook the other day saying that uh, this person just keeps a pair of shorts next to their front door so that if anyone knocks, ah, they, can not they, them can, on. they can throw their all shorts right, so. on. <laughs> All right, Ultra Unlock Details. As is tradition of Pokemon Go Fest events, we're excited to unveil details of this year's Ultra Unlock bonus. Blah, blah, blah. All right, Unlock Week 1, Dragon Week. When, I love how they say F, Winters complete eight global challenges to unlock Dragon Week. Majestic Dragon-type Pokemon come in all shapes and sizes. From the Tiny Gibble, which I need to evolve that that dude, to the towering Alolan Executor. Alolan Executor is He's your a favorite. dragon? He is a dragon-type. That's just nuts. This week will be hide the shy Coconuts. dragon week. So it'll be uh, Friday, July 31st to Friday, August 7th. Uh, features a following. I'll let you do name of the week. Uh, features a following Pokemon will appear more wild. Uh, a little executor, Horsey, Gratini, Trap Inch, Swablu, and Bagon. And g- possibly Gibble, if you're lucky. And that's the one I'm uh, excited about, to be honest. Th- yeah, me too. Uh, the 7K eggs is the same thing. Horsey, Tratini, Trapet, Swablu, Bagon, Gibble, and Dino will be hatching from 7K eggs, but only if you're lucky. And Rayquaza will be in five-star raids. Uh, I'll do those with you people. Come on. Friend me up. Let's do this. And if you're lucky, you might find a shiny Dino. I don't think I have a Dino at all. I think I, I missed, do. like, the five minutes. Shut up, Jeff. <laughs> I, I think I missed. Yeah, it's not here. I think I missed like the five minutes it was available as a glitch. Uh, what's week two, Joe? Uh, week two is the Enigma week. Um, so if, when, well, I agree with you, when trainers complete the 17 or 17, 16 global challenges, they will un- unlock Enigma week. Uh, and the Pokemon that are going to appear in the wild for that will be Star you, Jigglypuff, Clefairy, Lunatone, Soul Rock, Baltoy, Bronzor, and a brand new Pokemon, Elgium. I am unfamiliar with him. He looks kind of weird. I just uh, I just googled him. He does look kind of weird. But I am pretty unfamiliar with him. Uh, but yeah, basically. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll take it. It's an alien Elgium. aircraft. <laughs> Nicole yeah. says, "Love that weirdo." Uh, it, the yeah. look of it reminds me of the the sad robot from Hitchhiker's Guide. Um, but yeah, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, good stuff. Uh, and then from Seven K Eggs will be Cleffa, Iglybuff, Lunatone, Soul Rock, and Elgium. Which, out of all of that so far, the only thing I'm excited for is the Elgium. Oh, we're running behind. Let's go. And then, sorry, in raids, all right. uh, Bronzong, Claydol, they listed Bronzong twice. Apparently, he's just going to be popping up all over the place. Elgium, and then unknown the spell Ultra. And then normal form Deoxys will be available, and its shiny will be available. And shiny Staryu will be available. All right. And then Unova week, uh, and when we play, it'll be uh, the, la- the last part of August, the third week of August, August 14th. August 21st, and you'll have Seawaddle. Swa- Waddle. Okay, I'm going to Google that one. Hold <laughs> on. Uh, I'm just going to get these popped up so I can look at them in a minute. There's Seawaddle, and then there's going to be Cottony. Seawaddle's just a new Caterpie-esque Pokemon. Okay, Cottony is probably the evolution, maybe? Uh, uh, and other no. Pokemon originally discovered. Oh, no. Cottony Cot- is a little cotton. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Swaddle. Okay, Swaddle Swaddle Swaddle's just got a leaf different. head. All right, all right. Yeah. Got it. And then it. Emolga as well. And Emolga, which is another one I haven't heard Emolga of. Emolga is super cute. I like Emolga. Okay, it's a flying squirrel that's not on ice. Got yes. it. Yep. Got it. It's a cousin. Uh, <laughs> Buffalant. Holy crap. I need this. So this is new shadows. We want this one. You know the week, man. I'm Buffalant. A lot of people are sad that Buffalant isn't an evolution of taurus it really ought to be just saying yeah i'm with you on that um yeah it absolutely should be uh we'll be appearing in the wild and hatching for 5k eggs in new york city wait 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 what it says Des- buffalo will be appearing in the wild and hatching for 5k eggs in new york city usa it's a new and regional. surrounding areas yeah 
Rog and Rolla, another Pokemon originally discovered in the Unova region, will be available in raids. So only, only the U.S. gets Buffalo. That's only the that's only not... northeastern U.S. Just like uh, down what? here in the southeast, uh, we have um, Carnivine. Carnivine then, is only in the southeast U.S. It's never gone anywhere else. But none of the other weeks have done this. That's weird. That's, I, I don't know. It just threw me off. None of the other weeks are doing this. So, all right. Rog and Rolla, another Pokemon, will be available in Raids. Genesect will be in a five-star raid. Raid me. Raid me. I need a Genesect. And if you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Rog and Rolla. Both of should be at least everywhere in that week and then be a regional, don't you think? Uh, apparently not. I don't know. They're just rolling that's... out a new regional. That's, and uh, that's, that's Co- seems to be bad time. Coach Kev is hoping that he's within the range because New York City, he's living in Northeast Jersey. He might be close enough. Yeah, he might be. Oh, that's weird. All right, we've got other stuff to talk about. We've got this mega thread. Is there? Give me a quick TLDR on what this mega thread is. Uh, basically, I'm gonna. I will have the link in our show notes. Uh, it's a great mega thread with all the newest information in one spot about GoFest. So if you ever have a question about what's going on or anything, just this is a resource. That's the main reason I put it in here was as a resource to check and see what the different things are. And they have links to all the different um, posts that they've put out and a, even a how to prepare for GoFest by Zoe Two Dots, which won't really help our podcast listeners, but it's there as well. So Zoe Two Dots did a video on how to prepare. So, but good. And stuff. there's a there's an offer for a constellation prize to be redeemed there. So I went ahead and just redeemed it right now. So uh, lots of cool stuff That's, here. Yeah, that is true. There is that constellation prize, which I will link in the chat and put it in our show notes. But All it's right. um yeah, it's just a, a a couple things here and there. Now what I would like. We're 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 at that time. We're gonna play the speak pipes, right? We're gonna do the speak pipes. Love them. Love the calls. Love everything that that comes from all this stuff. Yeah, Please, I think we're I gonna love... have to skip random trivia tonight. We're okay. running way late. Yeah, we run way late, but we got excited. It's cool stuff happening this week, and we got a big fest this weekend. So next week we're probably running way late too. Maybe we should start a little early next week. We'll see. We'll we'll figure it out. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Pokemon Go Pod. We'll we'll tweet it, tweet it out if we're gonna go early. Um, but here's the thing, Go Fest. Call us. Get that speak pipe. It's PokemonGoPodcast.com, and it's right there on the tab right-hand side of the screen. Just click that tab and let us know your GoFest. Record your ex- most excited moments. You get something that blows your mind, pop over on us. and Or you know what? Just record a memo on your phone, a voice memo about how excited you are, and email it to us, show at PokemonGoFest.com. Pokemon Go Fest. Holy crap. What am I saying, Joe? I'm so excited about this weekend. <laughs> Show at PokemonGoPodcast.com. Email us your little voice memo. And I say little because it's a little file, not because, you know, your excitement's little. Because we want to hear your excitement. We cannot be out there with you. So do that. Do little quick videos. I don't know if that'll email or not. But I know voice memos are on just about every phone that's that's out there. You can record yourself, email to or of course, PokemonGoPodcast.com. Hit that speak pipe. Speaking of speak pipes, here we go, Joe. Hey, this is Jack and Kate. And you know what I think? <laughs> I think Tom's the fraud. <laughs> but seriously, you see him do anything around this show besides just randomly call other people fraud? I don't think so. All right, well, there you are, Tom. Are you a fraud? Prove it. You can't. Hey. My name's Tom, and I just want to say that El Gringo Suave is a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Four cows, more like fraud of cows. Anyway, love the show. <laughs> bye bye. He's he's up to calling out two people at the same time. Uh, uh, yeah, he called out Flork and and but well, I kind of the same because Gringo brings the Flork. It's true. So that that'd be the weirdest title for one of our episodes ever gringo brings the floor all right now this one joe we're having to skip it but somebody special called in for you sir hello from norway my name is gilfi and today i would like to ask joe what time it is <laughs> yes now, it is Gilfie... time for random trivia and bufalant is not an evolution of taurus 
There's your trivia. There's your trivia. <laughs> <laughs> now I know I know how people are. They go, oh man, that sounded like crap. Gilfi, you're welcome to call in again. But I get it. It's internet. Things happen digitally. I don't think you sound like crap. I think it was just a connection. I can hear you clearly. And I'm gonna put it on the button, Joe. We're gonna make it one of the random trivia question times. So, you know, and, and if you want to do it again, Gilfi, you're welcome. But Norway, man. Somebody from Norway called in to ask you what time it was. That's awesome. That I is love very it. awesome. And so we've got, we've got some fraud shots fired tonight. It's been a good night, Joe. Where can they find us on the web, man? You can find us all over the webs. You can find you, you, you don't can, have it open, do you? I do. It's right here. You okay. can email <laughs> us show at PokemonGoPodcast.com. <laughs> if you head over to PokemonGoPodcast.com, you can leave your own speak pipe. Uh, you can insert your own sources for us to talk about at reddit.com slash r slash Pokemon Go podcast. You can find us on facebook.com slash Pokemon Go podcast. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at Pokemon Go pod. Uh, every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time, we are live here on Twitch TV dot Pokemon Go or dot Twitch dot TV slash Pokemon Go podcast. Um, if you wanted to hop in on the Run Jump Stomp Discord, a uh, friend of the show, uh, there is a Pokemon Go podcast chat room in there. You can do that with tiny.cc slash PGP Discord. All of those are lowercase. Um, you can find me on Twitter personally at Joseph underscore Ard. And where can they find you, Charles? I am a rock out of podcasting. You can look up that. You can look up. Uh, 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 Charles McFall, charlesmcfall.com. I'm on TikTok. I'm, I'm everywhere you want to be. And you know what? You're going to tune in next week to hear Joe say, I embrace the casual. <laughs> Go Fest was freaking amazing. All right. Thanks, everybody, for coming out, man. It's been a blast tonight. Let's give a shout out to everybody here. We've got Coach Kev, 413, Curran, 2311, Jacket K. Rotted one, R A W, rotted one, Rock eighty thirty three, Shift Work, Skims eighty three, all the way from England, and Willie Scissors six seventeen. I know I saw some other chatters and stuff in there uh, earlier, so that's awesome. And it is time to vote. So if you've never been here live, because I never can tell who's been here live or not before, here's how we pick the name of the show. People have been submitting through using exclamation point and S at the space bar and do the type. Uh, no, I'm not doing a dance challenges. I'm just doing gameplay <laughs> stuff on there. I'm, all, I'm only doing some game rants on there as well. Uh, but yeah, let's see. You click on that link and let's see what we got tonight. Well, it looks like Embrace the Casual is going to win because we only got two. Alberto, the patron saying a magic carp and magic carp for the vote. And, you know, I, I think uh, embracing, Embrace the Casual is going to be, it's got to be the title, Joe. Gotta be, because then I get my own shirt. I get my own hashtag and my own shirt. Embrace the casual. And it's just gonna be me sitting in a chair playing Pokemon Go. There you go. I added another title just for you. Uh, I got 99. <laughs> ch- oh, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Joe. You're so cruel, Joe. You're so <laughs> cruel, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, <laughs> Well, you know, apparently it's not even here. So I'm gonna put it. There's not a whole lot of voting going on. Because everybody wants to embrace the casual. They love it. Okay, Jacket K says he typed in embrace the casual. There we go. It just doesn't want to add that one. I, I added it myself. I will give Jacket K credit. I don't care who gets there credit. There it goes. There it popped up on mine now. <laughs> Nicole, vote or I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's good. Embrace the casual. Embrace the casual. Embrace the casual. That's what it is. Charles gets all the shinies at GoFest. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I, you'll see what, what kind of shinies do come up. Uh, yeah, man, it's going to be awesome. <sighs> so, all right. There we see. There we go. Three votes. People did vote, Nicole. They voted for mine. So Brace Casual is up there. No! No, not no. No, 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 no. Down vote. Down vote. I can't. I can't. Well, oh, it's a four I now. Can't. 
<laughs> Can't download it. No, Nicole. I think Nicole made a new bot account. Get in there and vote that up. Got so. 99 shinies, but a carp ain't one. All right. So How many I shinies will, do will... you have? That's a good question. I got time. I can tell you that. T- yeah, go in there and type shiny. I, will... I know what to type. I will laugh. Whoa, two votes came off of uh, I Got 99 Shinies. Two people unvoted for it. 37. I have 37 Shinies. Oh. That's my people. Well, then that's not that's that not me. even that's not even a real. Did you ever really think it was going to be a real number? <laughs> that's I'm, not a I, thing. Bro. I'm just saying that uh, how many how many community days have there been now? I gotta go, man. I got another show to watch. I'll talk to you later. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, Nicole, uh, Joe? thirty-seven is cute. <laughs> well, Joe, make sure you uh, make sure you record some stuff this weekend. I'm gonna record there, some stuff this weekend. There's a tie right now. I'm just saying, there's a tie in that vote. There's nothing ne- I can do about next, it. Next vote would take it. One person just needs to go in and vote. I gotta go. I'm gonna Hello, monkey boy. Bye. Bye.